the r.php we're gonna um, require these two files so let's copy those quickly at the top and paste them here that's the um, config and the functions file and then let's um, capture the title first so we're gonna say title equal to dollar underscore post title okay so open the php tag here okay and then next what we want to capture is um, the body actually we do not need to capture those because we're gonna just pass them in some function okay so let's just say if is set dollar underscore post and let's say publish okay so that is if the published um, checkbox is uh, checked so we're gonna say dollar underscore post published equal to one basically what we're doing is if it's checked some browsers give it a value of one and some give it a value of on and um, so we just want to check that it is checked um, so that means it's going to evaluate to true whether it is one or on both of them will evaluate true so we want to check it um, set it to one we want to force it to be one because that's what the database expects it does not expect an on okay so if it's not checked that means uh, it's not set so we're going to say dollar underscore post so we're going to set it published to zero okay because that's what the database expect so let's do if create page we're gonna create that function in a moment so create page dollar underscore post actually we just need to pass in the post um, array if it's uh, created we want to um, head back to the list of pages so let's say header location and then for slash pages slash index php okay else if um the page could not be created we want to um do a header and then um, location for slash pages for slash add dot php and we really just want to pass in an error there to say couldn't create page couldn't create page okay so let's just change this to small o okay so now since we are using this create um, page function but it doesn't exist let's go to our functions.php right at the bottom and let's create that okay so let's say function create page and then data that's the array that we're passing in the post um, global variable that is okay so next let's say pdo and if you remember after refactoring now we can just say db get connection db colon colon get connection okay so next let's just say sql equals to insert into pages so we want to insert title body and then published okay what values do we want to insert so sql we can do that like this values and then we pass in this but um, we want to do uh, bind parameters um, using pdo so we want to say um, colon and then say title and then colon body and then colon publish okay just close that there and now the say statement let's create a new pdo statement equals to pdo prepare we want to prepare the sql statement okay so next let's say inserted Go to statement execute we're going to execute um, the statement whilst passing in um, the bound parameters okay so you can um, bound them singly one by one if you watch my um, video tutorial or you can just pass in pass them in the execute function here it should be exe C U T execute okay so now we're just going to pass in a key value parameter so we're going to bound to title and a title will be um, inside of data and then title because that's the array we're passing in so the body will be live inside of um, the key of data and then body and then the published will be uh, living inside of data in the key of publish okay 
so now this will evaluate to true the inserted variable if um, the statement executed properly or it's going to be false so let's just return boolean there and um, just say inserted so this function will return true or false if we can create a page okay so let's head over to our browser now and let's try that out so i'm going to refresh this now i'm going to say title um, new page new body for page okay so let's look what's inside of our database table for pages now we have four pages there let's um, do create so we're going to leave the publish as um, false now not checked so let's say create as you can see now a new page has been created let's head over to our database and refresh and now as you can see the publish has been set to zero for the new page because we did not um, specify that we wanted it checked so let's go over there as well again add and then create another page let's say another page body for another page okay so this time let us check the publish here and then just do a create as you can see another page has been created let's refresh now as you can see the publish is set to one because we checked the publish check button okay so that brings us to the end of this video wherein we created a new page functionality wherein we can add pages to our database and in the next video let's see how we can add edit functionality to that and i thank you for watching and if these videos are helpful please subscribe to my channel and um, share the video so others can find them i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye